Yo, 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 what's going on? Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Uh, I might be doing more of these videos off of off of the camera. Um, my phones are trash, and, uh, well, only one is working. I have to get down there and get uh, two new phones. I think I'm going to get the Max. Uh, what is that? Uh, iPhone 12 Max. Hopefully, it's not a terrible phone, but I've had these phones three years. Anyway, um... You know, a lot of people are asking me, you know, uh, I did one video talking about fixing of the breed and the problems of the breed. And all. well, we did a million videos talking about that. But what is, uh, you know, what is a strong plan and uh, going forward and what is the differences in the breeds? And um, I decided to take it from a judge's perspective and give you all some insight on the basic problem. You know, uh, when you talk about the American bully. The basic problem is, for most, you have a standard, and you go in the ring, and even as a judge, you're looking for certain things to judge the dogs upon, you know, certain characteristics, certain qualities that are going to make this dog great or that dog, you know, not so great. And um, one of the biggest issues is, is that there's too many different styles of dogs, you know, and that's... Uh, when you think of like, you know, any breed, whether it's a German Shepherd or Dotson or whatever, when you get into the better classes of those dogs, you're going to have a lot of dogs that are mirror images of yourself. And it brings you to a point where a judge has to have some real skills. And, that, and those skills come into play directly from the standard. Because now they're not picking to say, you know, oh, I like this one. Imagine looking at, uh, you know, one of my favorite breeds, the Doberman. Imagine looking at a class of Dobermans and talking about what you like. They look so much alike that it, it's hard to distinguish at times who's who and uh, who's the best. So with that being said, the American bully is quite the opposite. And, and the reason why I say the American bully is quite the opposite is because bottom line, uh, you're not looking at dogs that are competing versus the standard you have dogs that are competing versus people's opinions and that's a big issue you know uh some you know when you look at some of the and i know everybody's gonna get pissed off but fuck it uh when you look at some of the dogs who've been champions say for instance like uh rocco mania it doesn't fit the standard you know uh his head shape doesn't fit the standard his head shape is more of that of an american bulldog uh, then you look at the fact that he has a high rear, he has a kink tail, you know, and uh, these are issues that for a dog to be a national champion winner, a grand champion, this is never supposed to happen in a breed. Those flaws alone will get you out, but not having the proper uh, proper head structure is the identity of the dog, you know, the, uh, and not to say the dog himself is impressive. You, you see him and he's a pretty dog and everything, but he's got a couple issues, but he's not an American bully. But if you allow this dog to be, be an American bully champion, then what does that say about a dog like, um, for instance, let's just use uh, the bear, you know, the bear who, who I feel like should be a three times national winner. You know, if you put those dogs together, they don't necessarily look like the same breed, you know. And if you go to a, uh, if you go to some of Marco uh, Suarez dogs, it looks like a totally different breed, you know. So you have three different breeds. How is the judge supposed to judge this? You know, what are you judging it to? And this is one of our biggest problems, not just in the ring, but as a breed in total. Uh, well, excuse me, trying to become a breed. You know, sometimes I will pause, y'all. I'm, I'm still struggling with the vocal control but um <laughs> but um it, it's a um it's a it's a tough thing sometimes for people to uh who are learning this breed to learn because there's not a set rule you know and it, it really just gets to, down to being that simple you have a dog like dax and of course here here, here we'll, we'll have those people come in but maybe we'll post a video of dax one day and you'll and you guys will see what i'm talking about um, a dog that, for one, very much so didn't look like an American bully. For two, had huge structural issues in the rear end. His rear end was high. He was stiff in the stifle. He was very, very straight in the stifle. The movement was like a Frankenstein from the back. And his rear end, literally, if my elbow is his rear end, it slanted down like this. That's how his back was. 
so you know where it's supposed to be like this <laughs> and you know this dog became a grand champion and we've had many grand champions that didn't fit you know the standard we have i've seen a grand championship dog that had a tail that was shaped like a nest and when you have all of these things how are you defining a breed you know um the true american bully to standard you would have a dog that was more like uh probably more like the bear you know uh he, he's a he's a good example of what the american bully should look like it looks like its own breed um if if you look back at a dog like austin martin who was a nationals champion uh grand champion sweet and low nationals champion of course uh ruger uh german ruger probably one of the best examples ever of what an American bully is supposed to look like. And I think that's, if you, if y'all want to look up a dog of what an American bully is supposed to look like, look, look up, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, grand champion, uh, German Ruger. He was the RKC nationals champion. I think 2014, the dog is incredible, beautiful, beautiful, clean dog, cheeky dog. He reminds you of having that Remy type of look like what an American bully is supposed to look like. Uh, also a couple Denzel sons when you look at uh, Grand Champion Uno who the uh, ABKC featured on their site forever as their as a as the example of what a standard male is supposed to look like and his brother uh, the Bison who was the first dog to ever win uh, three grand championships in different registries uh, that dog was um, well I said was they're both still living but excellent excellent examples of an American bully uh, Master Shifu from um, Suarez Bulls, pocket, great, great example, beautiful feet, beautiful lines, the cheeky look, tight, you know what I'm saying, black velvet, <laughs> that dog had a, I mean, well, he's still living too, I believe, uh, that dog has a beautiful, beautiful black coat, just beautiful, but all, the, all of the lines are there, and, and if you take those dogs that I gave you examples of, and you put them in a lineup, they all resemble the same breed, they all have the same breed qualities. And if you look at the dogs that I've talked about, like, um, you know, a, a Rocco or a Dax, and I'm using those dogs because they're, the, you know, they're the more popular dogs in this breed who have, you know, in my opinion, done a lot of damage to the breed because of going outside of what the standard is amongst health issues. You know, uh, this is going to be a problem that we have to solve. We have to fix the indifference in, uh, in, in our breed, you know. It has to be taken control of. And unfortunately, because you have so many people who don't care about breed standards and who try to um, be who they be, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's going to take, you know, and that, that'll be what the second half of this video is about. It's going to take, you know, a rule that uh, is probably going to be controversial at times to some and to others is going to be a, a breath of fresh air to where everything is a lot more strict, a lot more testing on every level, which will cost stud owners more money, will cost, um, you know, owners of the bitches more money. But we have to make it to a point to where we get down to business. You know, are the are the American bullies supposed to be athletic? Yes, they are. Even with all the muscle, they're supposed to be. I'm happy to see more and more people. Um, with videos of their dogs doing the spring pose and, 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 and people out doing athletic events with their dogs. Uh, as I've told y'all, Mandela's daughter, uh, she is, uh, from what I believe, the first American bully to win, you know, in the uh, championship in the AKC for doing, uh, you know, the uh, athletic events over there. And it's just, you know, it's something that we have to push for our dogs in order for our dogs to go forward and be a healthy, a healthy dogs and a respected breed because, the one thing about it is, is that every breed has a purpose. Every breed has something, you know what I mean, that it's supposed to do, whether it's a companion, whether, you know, working dog or whatever, it has a, it has a purpose, but even a companion dog is supposed to be a healthy dog and it's supposed to fit its standard as far as characteristics, uh, temperament, the whole thing. And until we get to a point to where we lock down and you can look at the dog and say, Hey, that's an American bully, you know, and, Hey, this is how an American bully is supposed to act. And this is the character. Then you have a breed right now. We just have a bunch of people breeding and that's not going to work out. And uh, if you watch the second part, uh, second uh, video after this one, where I talk about the reasons that this has, hasn't happened, it's a better understanding of the corruption inside of the breed and why this breed has struggled mightily, especially over the last, uh, let's say, 
13, 14 years. Uh, it's been a lot of issues since the uh, early days. You know, it's sad when you can look at a, uh, look at this thing and say we did better before we had registries. And that's true. But, um, you know, as you get there, you know, you have to pinpoint, you know, as you start your program or maybe you're restarting your program or you're just getting a dog. But you have to uh, really, really lock in on what the true American bully is and by the standards and by the rules. Uh, don't just believe what they tell you. You know, we know what an American bully is supposed to look like. It's not supposed to look like a bulldog. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, check out the next video, man. And uh, I thank y'all for your patience, your love. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Cuzzo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my, my man Mike up there, you know. <sighs> I could I could shout out a, a million a million people, you know. But uh my man Jackie, you know, it's it's a lot of people who supported me through a lot of things, man. I appreciate y'all and uh I know I'm missing some names. Nate Dog, uh, we could go on we could go on forever. Hey Zeus <laughs> We'd be here for a minute because I, I got some good folks behind me, man. But uh you know, I appreciate y'all. We turning up the radio show. Finally, it, uh, we'll be back. And that was all on me, you know, just having the ability to meet a schedule and do times and all that stuff. But uh, we're we going to get get back and it's going to be a different format. You know, we're going to talk a lot more dogs with a lot different type of dog breeders, uh, not gossip and all that other bullshit. We're going to be on some real dog things. So I look forward to getting with y'all. Much love, y'all. Peace.